वेलकम माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज चैप्टर थ्री पेपर वन करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इन दिस पार्ट वी विल बी स्टडिंग द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इन अ सेल एंड ओम्स लॉ सो लेट स्टार्ट सो जनरली वेन यू से अबाउट डिफरेंस वॉट हैपन वॉट यू मीन बाई डिफरेंस we can compare it from a higher level to lower level if you look at the diagram you will be able to see the level of water and the direction of the flow you will look at the figure over here you will be able to understand this water bottle which is kept at a higher level and this water bottle is kept at the lower level so as you know if you give a connection in between them and you connect it and you open the connection obviously the water level that is on the higher level the water flow from the higher level to lower level until both the levels are equal until uh, the level of this bottle and the level of water in this bottle comes to an equilibrium position until then the water will flow in the same way we can consider or compare in our studies how electricity will flow electricity have two charges positive charges and negative charges if there is a positive charge and a negative charge and it is connected by a conducting wire then the charge will from the positive to negative that is from high electric potential to low electric potentials so from this diagram you will be able to understand how the potential difference works on okay the potential difference is very much requirement for the flow of current if the current does not flow accordingly that means there is no potential difference for example we can take a battery if you look at the battery which will have a positive side and a negative side okay what when we say the battery is dead or uh, the battery is very much low when both the side have equal charges even though it is negative and positive when both the side have equal charges then we can say the battery is dead or battery is slow why did this happen that is almost all the current is went from higher level to lower level no more current is there in the higher level so that it can go to the lower level okay until that it will flow on until the equilibrium is not maintained the charge will flow to maintain the equilibrium in both the potential so that is a potential difference in your textbook you will be able to uh, see this diagram and related explanation in page number 30 so let us move on to the next part potential difference of a cell as you see in the diagram the cell consists of a positive potential and a negative potential very carefully you have to understand when you connect a bulb like in this figure when you connect a bulb over here and you connect a wire conducting wire it should be a metal wire when you connect a conducting wire the charges from the positive potential will go into this and it will and it will uh, hit the bulb the bulb will glow why the bulb will glow because the bulb is getting the potential bulb is getting the energy so this bulb get the energy electrical energy and the bulb will glow and while it comes back like it is completing the circuit the charge have to flow from higher to lower potential when the charge flow from higher to lower potential in between the bulb comes in it will take the energy so in this way the flow is we can say it as a circuit the difference in the potential between the positive and the negative terminal of the cell negative terminal of the cell is the potential difference of that cell so whatever may be the potential difference that will be the potential difference of the cell if you look at the battery now uh, which we use in our remote controls normally it is a 1.5 volt battery if you want higher big or big bigger battery we can say it as a 9 volt battery it is available in your uh, normal uh, any electronic shop uh, you will we will be able to understand the uh, blue white color battery it is there that is a 9 volt battery the voltage the earlier one which i said was 1.5 volt battery and this one is 9 volt battery so what is a volt what is the different volt is a measurement to uh, a volt is a unit to measure the potential difference this potential difference is caused by the chemical reaction occurring inside the cell that is very much clear there is a chemical process which is happening over here which you will be learning in a much more detail in your higher standards the potential difference sets the electron in the motion okay so the potential difference due to the potential difference the electron will flow 
okay when the electron will flow electricity will produce okay so the potential difference sets the electrons in the motion and the results in the flow of electricity through conducting wire connected at both the ends now very carefully you have to understand potential difference between two points will be given by v w by q where work done this is work done for a uh, charge from moving from higher potential to lower potential that is the work done okay the work done by the cell to move the charge from higher potential to lower potential that is the work upon total charge transfer how much charge is transferred that is the potential difference between two points for example we can say in much more better way one volt will be equal to one joule upon one coulomb the unit of potential difference in SI unit or SI system is volt. I hope you understand this part. The potential difference of the cell. Again, I would I would like to stress on that part. The potential difference of the cell or between uh, cell or, or in the positive or negative terminal of a cell is what? The difference of the potential difference between the positive and negative of the cell is called potential difference of that cell. That's it. We'll move on to the next part. That is free electrons. Okay, whenever you will uh, say about free electrons, what are free electrons? As you know, you already learned in your previous standards, an atom consists of a uh, nucleus and electrons mainly. The electrons which are at the outermost shell of a atom is actually do not have that much uh, attraction uh, to the nucleus. So they are the outermost electrons are weakly attached to the electrons so if you give or if you provide a certain energy to the outermost electron okay very carefully you have to listen to this if you provide a small energy to the outermost electron it will jump off from the influence of the nucleus and it will become free so these free electrons and when we orient them okay these there are so these free electrons when we orient them with the help of the potential difference there will be a flow of current so very carefully you have to understand that when we take away this free electrons and we orient them that is we are channelizing them with the help of potential difference then there will be a flow of current so what is a flow of current flow of current is nothing but movement of electron okay free electrons move freely from atom to atom it can move from atom to atom so this flow of free electrons will give rise to electric current okay so how this free electron move and how it can uh, make them into a current flow of current because due to a potential difference that's why when we apply a potential difference we get an electric current it is not vice versa it is due to the potential difference we are getting the current due to the potential difference only the current will flow since there is potential difference the electron will flow and the, when electron flows we are getting the current now look at the diagram you will able to see a wire uh, in that there, there are electrons which I already told you these are free electrons in random motion why they are in random motion because they are not channelized or they are not oriented and now they can be oriented or channelized if you provide them with the potential difference as in the second case in the second part of this diagram we provided them with the potential difference how would you provide them with the potential difference by introducing a cell by introducing an electric cell this wire will have a potential difference and this potential difference due to this potential difference the electric the electrons in the wire will flow from this way that is from the higher level to the lower level inside it is from negative to positive because electrons are always since electrons are negatively charged it will always attract towards the positive terminal of the cell and so on it goes on that is the motion of electrons after applying the potential difference this shows the flow of current through a wire next is electric current what is actually electric current an electric current is a flow of electrons through a conductor as i already told you the current there will be flow of electrons only when there is a potential difference applied in a conductor so quantitatively speaking current is defined as the charge passing through a conductor in unit time in unit time there should be a uh, uh, passing of this uh, charge because electrons have charge and this charge path that is q by t we will get i which is over here you can able to you will able to see this current will be given by current is equal to q by t the unit of charge in si unit is known as coulomb and the current is expressed as ampere very very important part this is i want you people to just 
by heart or learn this very much so ampere what is an ampere and one ampere is said the flow of flow in a conductor if one coulomb charge flows through in every second that is one ampere will be equal to one coulomb by one second okay carefully the previous one and this one just if you don't understand stop the video and again go through it stop the video go just um, rewind it again learn that completely am i clear then only you will be able to understand until then you won't be able to understand so the flow of charge in a unit time will get a current am i clear even though the electrons move from negative end to the positive and conventionally the direction of the current flow in is taken in the opposite direction as i already told you about it kindly learn this part very much important that is i equal to q by t it is used in many of the sums which will be will be which will be learning and uh, this is also very much important 1 ampere equal to 1 coulomb by 1 second that is time taken by one charge flow in a unit time here the unit time is taken as in seconds okay the small sum which is there a current of 0.5 ampere flows through a conductor for 5 minutes how much charge would have passed through a conductor so the current is given by 4 here it is 0.4 ampere 0.4 ampere uh, t equal to 5 meter that is 5 into 60 because in si unit uh, the time will be always in seconds so 300 seconds q q uh, q equal to i t that is i equal to q by t we have just uh, 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 we have just um, shuffled the formula for our purpose q equal to i into t we are, sub uh, we are substituting the value over here one, 120 coulomb that is the charge will be charge passing through a conductor will be 120 coulomb now in order to understand the resistance uh, you have to understand a lot of things with respect to this so let's start how we can uh, say that what and how the resistance works on so uh, very carefully you have to listen first uh, very carefully you have to listen mm, the resistance is actually a resistance uh, provided by a conductor like i already told you there are free electrons there are free electrons which are moving in a conductor so when you provide a potential difference they will get oriented and they will flow and this flow is known as electric current but one more thing you have to understand uh, these electrons they are they are in a conductor that there, there, there is not only free electrons there are also atoms there are also ions which is there and uh, when these free electrons move they come in between so they when they come in between they try to hit them when they try to hit them it will cause a resistance to them it will cause a obstacle so the obstacle of the flow of electron when a potential difference applied to it it is known as resistance of a conductor so how the obstruction can come the obstruction can come due to the atoms and ions present already in the conductor when the free electrons move they come and hit them and as already told you as i already have explained in your previous classes Uh, in a conductor, these all atoms and uh, free electrons are in random motion. So when they are oriented due to the potential difference, they go and hit it. And when they hit, there will be a vibration. There will be a vibration within the ion and within the atom. And it is also understood due to the temperature, there will be a thermal vibration. As the vibration increases, the resistance also increases. That's why we can understand uh, that that is there in your uh, next part, which I will be I will be explaining to you. So the resistance is actually an obstacle created by ions or atoms to the uh, like for the flow of free electrons. Okay, the relationship between these is very much important, and that relation is known as Ohm's law. Here in Ohm's law, it is stated that the current is directly proportional to the applied potential difference in physical state, like for example clearly uh, if we say that if the physical state of a conductor remains constant and the current flowing through the it will be directly proportional to the potential difference that is i directly proportional to v so the proportionality sign is converted into equality sign by applying one constant that is k that is constant of proportionality i equal to 1 by k this is mathematics this 1 by k is nothing but resistance of the conductor this is 1 by k is nothing but resistance of the conductor that is i r equal to v or we can even say that v equal to i r where r will be the resistance provided by the 
conductor to the free electrons or or for the current that is v is equal to i r or i r equal to v by i or even i into r equal to v so this is known as ohm's law we can obtain the si unit of resistance by the above formula the si unit of resistance is ohm it is ohm 1 ohm that is 1 volt upon 1 ampere will give you 1 ohm a resistance of 1 ohm this is actual definition this is not the definition this is a representation and this is the actual definition if 1 ampere current flows through a conductor when 1 volt potential difference is applied between its end then the resistance of the conductor is 1 ohm thank you my dear students this part i want you people to correctly learn all this if you don't understand rewind this video again you will learn it until then bye see you